Select the Stratigraphy Stratigraphic Thicknesses two-dimensional option. For the top of the isopack, select the top of the Potosi Formation. For the base of the isopack, select the base of the Potosi Formation. Click on the Diagram Options button. Turn on the borehole locations contour lines, colored intervals, and border options. Select the Stratigraphy Data option within the Borehole Locations submenu. Uncheck everything except the Thickness option. Erase the Thickness prefix. Click on the Stratigraphic Unit button. Select the Potosi Formation. Click on the Process button. Notice how the Isopac map includes labels that include the Potosi Formation thicknesses at the boreholes. Let's click on the Diagram Options button again. Select the Colored Intervals Scheme Custom option. Click on the Edit button. Click on the New Table button. When prompted for the name of the new table, enter Potosi Isopac. Rather than typing in a bunch of numbers, click on the Palette option. Enter 0.0, .0 for the minimum, 45 for the maximum, and 5 for the increment. Change the min, max, and member colors to something other than the default. Now, manually change all of the colors below 25 to a light gray within the Potosi Isopac Custom Color Table. Click on the Process button and we've got a custom color-coded isopac map.